Hey you all, so today we're just gonna hop right into things because I'm so excited. But before my excitement gets the best of me, I wanna say hello to everyone. Welcome to all my new subscribers. If you're new here, I'm Yoshida. This is Norris Cove. I am the owner of Norris Cove. I'm also a self-employed hairstylist, so my income is inconsistent. We're all about a budget here, planning, all that great stuff related here on the channel. So without holding you guys up, y'all, I'm so excited. So last week I did, no, this week, excuse me. I think the beginning of the week, I did a video on my sinking funds, cash envelopes, getting back into it, COVID had your girl a little twisted. So you guys, I said, okay, Yoshida, you got to focus. You can do this. You've done it before, but y'all, let me tell you, I'm just so proud of myself. So this is what I'm going to do first. This is my tips. We got some change. Hold on. That's some change. Um, this is tips. And this is all of my cash. Oh, and also I save change anyway, but I just normally get it out of my purse whenever I need it. I have this bucket. I will label it later, but for now, let's empty our leftover change. So what I'll be doing is um, I'll be not touching this until 2022 to see how much I've saved. I also keep me a little lucky money rock in here. Hold on. So let's put all our change in. Okay, so this is the change that we have. Um, again, we'll be counting this at the end of the year to see how much we've saved. Um, I'm going through some other purses and add to it, and then we'll just do all that 2022. Okay, next up, let's count how many tips I made this week. I actually need to add $15 to it, but I'm leaving that $15 in the bank because I was paid uh, through Cash App, and so it was on that. So I'm going to leave that in the bank, and we're going to do a little um, total here. So it's 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90. That's what we had in tips, $90 in cash. Now, what I'm doing with my tips... I'll tell y'all. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and throw this over here in my money drawer um, because we're going to use that to pay some stuff. Okay. Next up, there's a penny. We'll get that later. This is what I just took out the bank to do for cash envelopes because um, some of it was in the bank. Um, and some of it I did have on me, but not a lot. So let's count that. We got 50, 90, 120, 25, 30, 35, 135. So I'm going to put these up. Oh, what did I say we had in 80, 90? We had $90 in tips. And actually, we have... Well, I'm just going to put cash. $90 in tips. Let me take that off. So I can keep up. So I'll know. <clears throat> and then we have 50, 100, 20, 35. 135 just stuff that's just cash stuffing 135 okay now what i also did this week you guys as you can see i just made me a little cash um some cash planners i'm actually going to make about two more but they'll i'll tell you what they'll be for later at that time i made me some cash envelopes and i was so proud of myself because uh when i tried to do this a year or two ago girl your girl was just <laughs> making a mess but i figured it out and i love the way they came out um i do have these listed in my amazon storefront um but of course i did the vinyl and stuff myself so let me show you my categories that i have also i made me some slips to go in here um if you're interested in them i can make them available um via my website but i have eating out <clears throat> 
Dance Booth Rent Household Challenge. It's going to be three challenges. Um, another challenge, number two. Christmas Receipts. That should be in the back. Planning. Um, one and five dollar challenge. Vacation. And that says Gerald. That's my husband. Okay. And the reason is he's in there because there's two reasons. Um, eventually, I want to get to the point where I can help pay. He pays all the bills, but I want to be able to help pay at least half of the mortgage or something. Plus, I owe him for something he took care of me, and I want to pay that off first. So this next, um, this is not going to be the way they're going to stay. I'm just, I was excited. I got a little carried away. But we have self-care. Destiny, that's my daughter. Products, miscellaneous, sinking funds. There's just this one, emergency fund, which I'm gonna redo these. Gas, Vegas, and debt. So I'm gonna take out Vegas because some of that, I'll tell y'all about that in a minute. Now we have rollover and debt, okay? I'll take out debt as well. I may move that one to the other one. Okay. So, I'm doing two challenge, three challenges. As you can see, we have the one and five dollar challenge. So, I'm going to add up what's in the one and five dollar challenge. Now, I know most people are probably waiting to the end of the year. I'm in debt. And I'm going to go to those because what I was going to do was save those for Vegas, but I really think my tip's going to cover um, my debt. But let's just count. So this first one I'm doing is a $1,000 challenge. So you would have, let me make sure. Yeah, no, this is $2,000 challenge. So that's $90 that I saved this week doing um, a $2,000 challenge. So each day you pick an amount. I'm going to show you. I'm going to leave that in there. I was going to take it and tackle debt, but let me show you. So I, um, someone sent these to me and I just ran them off, but um, this is the $2,000 one. So each day you just pick one and you mark it off, okay? So that's what I did. So I didn't do it every day, but this is going to be my Vegas money. So that's why I'm not going to touch this one, but I thought I was going to have to touch it to pay some bills, but I'm not. I'm going to hold on to it. So once... Um, we go to Vegas. I'm going to take the money out of these challenges. If I come back with some, that's fine. I'll put it in the rollover. And then September the 1st, I will start over with this 30-day uh, challenge. Okay, let's see Christmas. Now, the $1 and $5 challenge. This is the one I was going to take and pay down debt, but I don't think that I need it. Um, let's see what we got in here. $1 and 5 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So we have $26 so far in the $1 and $5 challenge. So let me put that down. $1 and 5 and then I'm going to do a total. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this one and five in here till next week. Okay. Now I have another challenge that I'm doing, which is a thousand dollars in 30 days in 30 days. That was the original one that I was going to do. I was like, if I could just get a thousand dollars, Oh, it was $90 in the two K savings. I was like, if I could just have $1,000 to go to Vegas with, I'll be fine. So this is the $1,000 challenge. Now, what I've decided to do is get rid of this um, $1,000 challenge. Um, 20, 40, 60. So I'm going to wait till some other time. But I think this will be going to debt. So I'm going to put this over here on the side. But we had $60,000. I mean $60,000. $60 in the $1K. Oh, I should add it to the 2K. I don't know. But I'm just going to alleviate the $1,000. And I'm going to work on the 2000 And I'm going to disperse that amongst other stuff. Okay, so that's it. We're leaving the 1 and 5 in. 
everything else. But you guys, so let's count up what I saved for the week. Let's see. We have the $90 plus one thirty-five, twenty-six, ninety, and then sixty. Hold it. I saved four hundred and one dollars. If you minus the one thirty-five, let's take off y'all four hundred and one dollars. What? Hold on. I'm gonna take off the one thirty-five. So ninety plus twenty-six plus another 90 plus 60 it's 266 dollars now i'm going to include the 135 because i just took that out of the bank it was just there so uh, 401 dollars that's with doing three challenges and tips so if you're self-employed like me you get tips tips can pay a bill so Let's stuff these envelopes. Y'all, $401. I'm so proud of myself. Okay, so let me tell you. Um, while I'm thinking about it. So what I did this week, because I'm like, I've got to get back on track. So I'm whipping out my planner. Because in here, I have a finance set. Here's my debt. I went right to it. So... This is what I have in debt. This is not including like my cell phone bills, which I do want to do that. Um, so it's $19,789.75. Now, I like Dave Ramsey and I like following the program, but this is what I'm going to do. So first thing I'm gonna do is give $66.86 to Lane Bryant. That's, that's the smallest card that I have. So I am doing debt snow snowballing, but I'm also, I have this high interest Barclays. You guys, this is them right here. The credit limit was 2000. I purchased something for like 1500 and COVID hit. I bought it like the end of 2019. Well, COVID hit and I assumed that there was an 18 month, no interest. Well, the interest hit and it was $500. I've been giving them the minimum. I really could have paid this off during COVID, but I was just like, oh, I'll get to it. I'll, I'll wait to the next big check or whatever. Didn't do it. Paid the minimum amount. I looked, interest hit again, and it was up to $2,600. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pay this off. So we're going to get $60 here. I'm gonna take 65. I'm sure I got a dollar in my bank account. And I'm gonna put that into the debt folder. And I'm gonna pay off Lane Bryant. It is the smallest one I have. So tips alone help me pay off that credit card. I still have $30 left out of the tips, okay? Um, so we're gonna pay that off. And then the next um, credit card is Victoria's Secret. So I'm gonna pay that off. I wanna give Victoria's Secrets, let me see. Y'all, let me, I didn't do the total, 401. Okay, so Victoria's Secrets is 135, um, 135.87 divided by two. I wanna break it up. It's another $67.93. So I wanna give them half. Um, no, I think I'm since they're small, I'm gonna give them their regular amount. Um, my Barclays, like now the payment is $84, okay? <laughs> so normally I just pay that out of my account, but I'm gonna take um, 50. Actually, yeah, I'm just gonna take $50 and I'm gonna pay the rest out of my account. And at the moment, I'll be giving them 100. So I need to put down and give them 100. So I'll take the other 50 um, and I'll put with it and then they'll get 100 and for Barclays. And then um, everything else, I'll just keep doing what I can. I'm gonna try to give extra. And then I'm gonna try to give 
Barclays an extra 50 a month. So this is mainly like a digital envelope because I normally pay this out of my account of what I make. It's just part of my expenses, but I think I'm gonna throw an extra 50. That's what I'll do. I'll throw an extra 50 every week at Barclays until I can give them the total amount. So what I'm gonna do with that $2,000 challenge, like I said, that'll go to Vegas. Once I come back from Vegas, I'm gonna do it again and I'm just gonna throw it all at Barclays because it is the highest interest. And then I'll start working on some more small things. And the next I have Citibank. I want to pay them off. And then I'll throw another thousand at them. I owe them 973. Um, and then my car loan is 13,000. My goal was to pay it off in 2019. Um, that didn't happen. That's when I started to really do my cash envelopes. And then um, COVID hit, so I knew I couldn't pay it off. But I started with 17,000. So and I got it like in 2018, so I'm doing pretty good. Um, I'm going to work on paying that off. This will be paid off in 2022. Trust me, it's gonna be easy. I'm not even worried. Okay, so now we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 150, 60, 70, $170. Okay, I lost my train of thought. My husband interrupted me. So let's um so vegas so we're gonna be throwing again all the challenge to vegas um now this is what i'm gonna do i gotta give eating out some money i did eat out this week but uh, i'm gonna give eating out 40 and i'm gonna try to limit that so that's gonna get 40 and i'm gonna write in here that i added 40 And the day was a good day to um, do this video. It's the last day I worked. And I'm going to do my, my budget after this. Okay, so we have 40 and eating out. I am super psyched at what I saved in a week. Do y'all know I've never... I've saved that before in a week, but it's been a long time. Okay, gas. So gas will get 20 because next week it'll be time to get gas. And then I'll put $20 to it. So I'll be doing another cash stuff in on Friday. Uh, 7.30 deposit. So I'll give it 20 next week. I was going to do the whole 40, but I'm going to do 20 next week. Okay. And then booth rent. Now, this is here for my rent where I work at. And this is case like we have, like we're going on vacation. So that way, if I want to put something in there to just be there and to go to, um, to make it how can I put it to make it um, less while I'm on vacation so in the future when I need to take a vacation because I still have to pay for where I work at whether I'm on vacation or not I don't get a, a free week or anything like that so um, that's why that's there I'm not going to give that anything this week and then this is household um, I looked I have I love the plugins it's almost time for plugins I'm gonna give them 20 and I later um, may add to it. So I'm gonna really try to hold off, but I have enough to get by and I can wait on my plugins. I wanna at least get 60 in here. So, stay up. That's 20. Okay, this is household, let me put that back. Now, everything else may go right into the bank. Like I said, we are, the debt is going in the bank. That's that. Okay, gas. Yeah. So next week I'll put 20 in for gas. And I get gas about every two weeks unless I'm traveling. Okay, household challenge. This is a $1,000 challenge. This is a $2,000 challenge. Christmas. I'm going to give Christmas $10. I wasn't going to put anything in there yet because I'm just getting back into the groove of things. 
but what I normally do is take my tips and pay for Christmas, but I'm gonna give Christmas 10. Since I realized how much I saved this week. So Christmas gets 10. And I wanna do, one, another envelope that I'll be adding is gifts because like, when I finish this video, I need to go to, I'm going to my aunt's. She just moved, bought a house a couple of months ago. And I just don't want to go empty handed. Um, planning, planning is not getting anything this week because I've invested some money into um, my business. So, girl, won't get anything this week. Okay. Eating out, I got 40 there. Okay. Vegas, that's from the challenge. We'll do that later. Debt. And then I still have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80. $80. Let me check my other ones. Oh, I'm going to need a pedicure coming up. Um, and normally that's normally like 40. I'm going to put 25 in here for self care. And then I'll probably end up putting to it next week another 25 and then I do pretty much everything myself besides my pedicures I can do my pedicures myself but I don't I do sometimes when I'm in a crunch um, that's that Destiny doesn't get anything um, products they'll get I'm trying to think I'm gonna give products 30 this is for work I do need some things next week so gotta make that work Matter of fact, and then miscellaneous will get um, yes, emergency fund, and then I have a rollover here. Okay, that needs to move. Self care, so products miscellaneous will get 25. So now this is what's going to happen. Um, I'll take miscellaneous. I might keep I keep the cash for miscellaneous, but products will go into my account because sometimes I'm at work and the guy I can just um, cash app him and then self care. Self care may just stay the same because like I said I can just pay cash for um, for those. Okay, so that's that. Um and then this is debt. Debt is definitely going to the bank because we're going to pay um, off these credit cards. So I'm excited. So we'll be putting, let's see, 50, 110, 115. So we'll be putting 115 back in the bank. That's going towards debt. And actually, I'll schedule my first of the month credit cards um, tomorrow. What's tomorrow is the 31st. Tomorrow, and then I'm paying off Lane Bryant. So I can take that off of my debt. And so my debt will go down by $66. And I'm just going to set this up front. Because what I may do after I leave my aunt's house, I have to pass the bank. So I may just um, stop by the bank and just redeposit that. So, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, if today was your first time watching any of my videos and you enjoyed today's video, I would love to have you come back for more. Budget with me. If you're new to budgeting, um, kind of like myself, I'm not new. I'm just true, but I just don't get it all the time. So, if you want to get along with me and you want to get your finances in order, and follow along with me and watch me tackle this $19,789.75 worth of debt. Stay tuned. Come back for more. Hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that um, notification bell so that you're notified when I upload videos like this. So, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.